Okay, this is a variegated dogwood. It's a lot like your Cherokee sunset, but this is daybreak. It has a green and white leaf in the summer. It turns a pretty fall color, but five to six foot, uh, and we do them up to, I've got them up to two, two and a half inch caliber. Okay, thank you. Okay, this is a block of stellar pink record dogwoods. All the record dogwoods is the healthiest dogwoods that I've ever grown in my nursery. They always stay slick and pretty and healthy. Don't see any anthrocnose in them ever that I've seen. I mean, the stems are slick, the trunks are slick. Two inch caliber, two and a half right here. Thank you, Sam. Yeah, this is a, a block of turkey sunset dogwood, variegated. It's got a yellow and green leaf through the summer. And then in the fall, you've got a beautiful fall, kind of purplish and pink in it. Beautiful dogwood, uh, real blooms red, nice dogwood. Okay, this is uh, actually your record stellar pink again. These dogwoods, we stake them, we cut them to make them heavy, but they do want to grow kind of pretty fast upright. But slick, healthiest dogwoods I've ever grown. Any of your record crosses, the Constellation, Celestial, Venus, and uh, the stellar pink are all extremely healthy dogwoods. Uh, if I was planting out in the landscape anymore, this is the dogwood I'd want over a cornice every time almost. Thank you. This is, uh, okay. This is Constellation Dogwood, your record dogwoods again, and it's a real white bloom. Very nice dogwood that's uh, always heavy and slick. It's called Constellation, record, record dogwood cross. Nice looking dog. These are our blood good Japanese maples here at Highland Hill Farm. We have larger sizes as well as smaller sizes, and we also have weeping Japanese red maples and also green maples. So give us a call 215-651-8329. Thank you. In this video here you can just see our drip water system that goes to each tree. With our drip system going to each tree we can water about a hundred to two hundred trees at a time from one central location. It connects just to a garden hose and the best hose to use is a black or a dark red garden hose because it doesn't doesn't allow light to form algae inside your your garden hose. The reason this tube is black is it doesn't let light penetrate so it keeps the line clean from algae. So just give us a call.